Hello. Oh, hello, Tom. What are you doing? I'm just reading the, the Festool catalogue. Now, Alan from Festool came along today to have, have a word with us. Um, yeah, it was interesting. We were talking about how we might work together in future with them supplying some tools to the space. They've worked with universities and schools in the past, but they've never really had any contact with the maker movement. So uh, I think it's going to be interesting. Okay, and what have we been up to today? Today, we've continued with the subfloor preparation. So as you can see, there's quite a few more blocks now. We've had a few um, points over here where we've had to make up um, concrete, where there hasn't been space for the blocks, but that's fine. That's just as structurally sound. We've continued with the lining as well. So the last couple of bits of lining we're going to put up for a while. But we've got a couple of things we've got to tackle before we can finish the floor. Or, or really get on with the floor. And one of them is the issue of subfloor ventilation. It's really important to have good airflow under a timber floor to avoid things like dry and wet rot. So what we have to do, because there's nothing built into the place, is get an air brick fitted into the outside of the wall. That will involve someone drilling through the wall, cutting out a slot all the way through, and then we'll use this periscope vent to, to take the air from outside, it's come through the air vent, all the way down here and under the subfloor area. There'll be another one in the middle, another one at the end, we should get a nice, nice swirl of airflow under the floor. And when you get good airflow, even if it's wet down there, you don't get the growth of fungus involved. Or you don't get it to the extent that it can really damage the timbers. One of the things that's been disproportionately good to see today is the fact that the tower has come down. Both towers have been taken down. And that's because we've finished the lining for now. Until we've finished the floor and put up the, the second skin wall in here, we don't have to do any more of that. So, yeah, that's good news. And we um, had a visit from Hippo Skips today. So, well, there's kind of no, nothing to show you outside because all that rubbish is gone. So, um, apparently they came in a very cool lorry to pick it up. And Tom might tell you some more about that on a, on a voiceover. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything to say about it, Tom? It was cool, it had a big robot arm, and it was like Wi-Fi yeah. joystick. All right, so a little game controller yeah, for, exactly. for bringing it. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, excellent. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much for showing us around, and we'll be uh, here again at some other point, uh, probably on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, see you on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. thanks very much. Oh, thank you.